Right, good evening everybody. Um, welcome to this uh, public performance open scrutiny committee. Um, I'm the chairman, Councillor Finn, and you go to this committee, so I take it to me an easy time. Um, Minister previous meeting, which I wasn't at, I lost uh, Councillor Scanlon, the vice chairman, to sign on behalf of the was at. Okay, I'll speak now. I'm speaking to that. If it's confidential, we don't want to hear it. Right. And um, an art photo to be taken prior to the meeting, uh, please not during the meeting because uh, it does uh, detract from us. So I see a gentleman there with a camera, please could you stop taking photos now? Thank you. Oh, it's filming, okay, fine. Uh, but as I say, flash photography is a bit distracting. I know. Absence of members, there are no absence of members. Uh, declaration of members' interest, uh, personal prejudice interest, to start off with. Oh, well, I Council think, Marshall. Uh, I, I just want to try. Uh, I, I, I can't. Uh, I, I just want to try. There's a very minor shareholder of BT, which is. Uh, uh, here. Uh, here. Hear your ears out. As a very minor shareholder in BT, which was the unsuccessful contester, do I need to declare a personal, probably non-prejudicial interest? Can you not hear the back at all? Not at the front either. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so I think members. It seems that we have to speak quite near to the microphone. Yeah. Okay. Um, Councillor March was asking about uh, a shareholding head in BT. Um, I think, in view of the size of BT and the relative size of its holding, maybe it's bigger than I think. I don't think it's a, an interest which has to be declared. It's suggested that I can literally it's non -perfect. It's non -perfect. Any other uh, interest yet? No. No. The same. The same, okay. I don't think it's the same. same, okay. Um, with the arrangements, I've got to declare I'm the chief of the uh, Conservative group. Um, the whipping arrangements, there aren't any on the Conservative side. Uh, are there any on the Labour side? Sorry? Not all we heard. Not that we heard, but there are, there are a bit of arrangements on the Labour side. No, no, on the Labour side. We had heard that the last time on your side. No, no, it's not true. As usual, you were ill informed. As usual. Um, so, no, there's no bit of arrangements. Everybody can, uh, obviously, they have interests and they have ideas of their own, and uh, they will vote accordingly on our side. Uh, and there is no bit of arrangements on the Labour side. No, 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 Public questions. Um, now, some of these questions which we've got here, um, and oh, the first, before I forget, before I forget, can I just make sure members on page 44, the, the document which was sent to you in the post missed out uh, some pages. The documents which the public have got are correct. So the ones which you should have are the ones which the public have got. It's uh, page 44, there's a summary there which says financing. If you haven't got it on page 44, financing, then please, I can arrange for uh, correct papers to give them to you. You have that on page 44. Alison, you've got 44? Have you got that? On the page which was entered in the post, no. there wouldn't be, there's a bit missing about financing <laughs> at the top of the page, under this area. There should be a section financing. Have you got that? You've got it now. Have you all got that? Yeah. Yeah? Councillor Cook, yes? Yeah? Uh, no. Looking a bit bemused. <laughs> on page 44 of the pack, <coughs> do you have. If not, then that paper which we've got now will make up for it there. 
That goes on the top, that goes on page 44. Yeah, there's a two or three pages which were missed out mostly on the original page. Right, is that fair? In fact, the, the public should have the right papers, though, so there shouldn't be any problems. Okay. Um, we've got question time from the public. We're going to have 30 minutes of question time. Usually, um, the questions are read out and the answers are read out. I thought it was going to take too long and it will be a waste of time. So we have uh, had those questions and answers printed, which I hope will be helpful to you. I'm not quite sure whether all the questions should be directed to this committee, because this is an overview of the scrutiny committee. Some of the questions are, or most of the questions, I would rightly be directed to the executive, to the cabinet there. But nevertheless, um, I provided the answers through the uh, cabinet members, because uh, it just helps you, and uh, even though it's not really the correct procedure. But uh, be careful about that. The questions to this committee should be addressed relevant to what we are doing. And you can't ask to say, are we, and some of the questions, for example, well, are we going to recommend to Cabinet? Well, this committee is scrutinising. At this stage of the game, we can't recommend anything until the end of the meeting, when we might make some recommendations there. So we've got to be very careful about these questions in the future, how they will work. But I hope the answers we've given to you are helpful. Um, so we've got 30 minutes for some. I'm sorry, will, will we have a chance then to ask the, the, the full cabinet? Please? Yes, you can ask questions in cabinet. They might be referring to the answers which you've ever given, but you can ask cabinet, uh, the next meeting of cabinet, if you go through the right procedures, you can ask the questions of cabinet on public question time. Okay? Right. Um, the supplementary questions, again, I must ask that you keep them to what is relevant to this committee. But the way I want to handle the supplementary questions is uh, some people have got four questions down. What I'd suggest we do is we take number one question by Ms. Catherine Atkinson, then go, let's jump to number three, Mr. Keith Martin. Then jump to Ms. Rivka Weiss, so everybody gets a fair chance of asking a supplementary on their question. If there's time at the end, we'll revert back to Mrs. Ms. Atkinson for question number two. So I think that's a fair way of doing that. Okay, so first question, Ms. Catherine Atkinson, question number one. You have a supplementary? 